welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel for those of you guys who might be new which is probably all of you guys <laughs> today is going to be a guinea pig haul and first thing I'm going to go ahead and do if you guys are interested in the makeup look that I'm currently wearing I did film a video on this so if it is already posted it'll be linked down in the description for you guys and if it is not then make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload this makeup look but today I'm going to be doing a guinea pig haul and this is going to be kind of a big one. So first off, also, I am filming in my bathroom today. I don't usually film in my bathroom, but we are having storm issues, guys. We're having storm issues and usually I film in my office, but because it is so dark and gloomy out because it's raining, I have no natural lighting to film in there today. So I had to set up all of the lights in the bathroom I know but this is actually I think like white lighting or natural lighting or something like that that I have for when I do my makeup so I was like you know what let's just go ahead and film it in here and hopefully you guys won't mind so this is not the permanent setting from my channel I do want to throw that out there because this is my makeup towel and this is probably gonna be very weird to see in the background of a video but like I said I usually film in my office I just can't today so let's get on into the haul because I do have quite a bit of stuff that I want to show you guys. Okay, so the first thing I actually picked up yesterday, and I picked it up when I was out with my friend. We were doing some shopping and stuff yesterday, and I got this from one of the pet stores in another town because the town I live in has nothing. When We actually went out of town and did all of our shopping. So this is the Oxbow Enriched Life Timothy Apple Lollipop, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Oxbow is one of my favorite brands to shop for, if I have to get some kind of treat that is not like a fresh uh, like carrot or you know fresh food that we can eat ourselves I go with Oxbow if they have something there I trust this brand 100% I've never come across an Oxbow item that has been unhealthy or just terrible for a guinea pig that has ingredients in it that they're just not supposed to have. I also had hamsters growing up and I had a hamster last year as well and Oxbow of course was one of the brands that I trusted for my hamsters back then as well. This one says that it's, let's see, it's great for exploring, playing, chewing, and hiding. So basically, if you guys have a tank or something, then you guys can hide it and they'll, you know, sniff it out and find it. It's great for like a foraging item. So I 100% love this. And my guineas have not tried this yet, but anything wood or hay, they tear it up. They love it. So this is 100% natural Timothy hay and fresh um dried apples and it's on a wooden stick that they can chew as well of course don't give them the ties because that's not good for them but this was only $3.99 and when I seen it I was like that is a new item here I have to pick it up and try it okay guys so the next item that I have is the oxbow enriched life this is the curly vine ball and it just looks like this I buy these uh, wickered balls for them a lot because my guinea pigs personally really like these particular toys to chew on and to like pop up in the air and play with because I do have three pigs and sometimes they do not want to play with each other sometimes they do so you'll have three pigs trying to pounce around like a little ball so I got them a bigger one um, this one was $5.99 I got this from the same store that I got the lollipop from it just looks like this it's all natural wood and it's got like little curly bits on it so this is 100% safe for them to chew on this is what the tag looks like by the way and there's actually another little ball in here if you guys can see and that jingles around as they move it there's no bell or anything in it but it moves around when they move it um, to entice them to want to keep playing with it and also it is great for them to chew on because if you are not aware Guinea pigs have to chew on things 24 seven. That's why it is recommended for them to have hay throughout the day so that they can constantly chew down their teeth or it'll get too bad and it can actually hurt the inside of their mouth. So make sure you have lots of chew toys and if they're not chewing, try and find something to get them to chew on that's natural or that is at least safe for guineas. Um, I have a video that I am going to be doing soon on everything you should and shouldn't feed your guinea pigs because I 
I'm not trying to be that kind of person, but I also feel like some people just don't know. So that video is coming. If you guys are interested in it, definitely let me know down in the comments. But the next item that I also got is actually a rare item that I do not buy for my pets. I don't even buy them for when I have hamsters, but I kind of wanted to see what they were like. So I kind of bit the bullet and I spent $3.99 on them. This is the Teeny Friend Farm. These are the uh, Gertie Guinea Pig Scrummies with apple, strawberry, apricot, and banana. This is what the packaging looks like. Now, I've always been very curious about Teeny Friends Farm products since I've, you know, had hamsters. And gonna go ahead and say it now, guinea pigs should not really eat things like this because they are high in sugar and it makes them gain weight very, very quickly. And that is actually very bad for guineas and hamsters as well. But, I feed my guineas so much fresh fruit and vegetables that I figured having these treats every once in a while is okay for them because on the back it does recommend feeding them one to two treats per day. Please do not do that. <laughs> one to two treats per day will hurt your guinea pigs. This is too much sugar for them to have two of them a day. Even one whole one a day, I would not recommend it because these are actually fairly good sized pieces. I did open these last night. Look how big these pieces are. Do not feed your guineas one to two of these a day. Please do not. Now maybe these little orange ones, I would give them maybe one of these each pig and I would stand there and watch them and make sure they each ate it instead of one going and taking all of them because BMO likes to do that. But these are immensely huge. Do not give them more than one of these. What I did is I took one of these green ones and I actually held it and I let them each nibble on it until they were done. And then I took it out of the cage and I set it up on their shelf that they have built onto their cage. Um, being completely honest, my pigs eat about anything. My pigs did not like the green ones anyways. I don't know about all the other ones. I haven't tried those ones, but my pigs personally didn't like the green ones. And that could be because I didn't start them off eating things like this. I, Like I said, I mainly feed them fresh fruit and veggies if I'm gonna give them a treat. So $3.99, it's worth the product, but it's not worth the harm that it can do to your guineas. So to be completely honest, I may keep a couple of these. I may just give them to a friend that's got animals that they, you know, they don't care what they feed their pigs or whatever. I don't know. I may not even do that. I may toss them, but I wanted to see what they were like. So I bit the bullet and I paid $4 for them. So very, I was curious. And of course I, I already knew better, but it's whatever. The next thing I got, I actually got from Walmart. Surprisingly, they're actually carrying more of the Rosewood things now. Rosewood is another brand that I actually do like. I don't like all of their items because some of their items are actually not specifically for animals that are listed on the labels. Um, again, kind of like the uh, Teeny Friends Farm thing. You would think if it says it's for guinea pigs, why wouldn't it be? But that is their ploy to get you to buy things that aren't necessarily needed or actually healthy for your animals. They just want the money. This is actually a really good product though. This is the Rosewood It's a Pet thing. This is the Nature Salad and I actually have been buying this for quite some time. My pigs love this stuff and my hamsters actually used to eat it all the time as well. That's when I actually started buying it was for my hamsters because it's labeled, ooh, it's labeled for bunnies, rabbits, hamsters, gerbils, and guineas. Um, so basically it's ideal for small animals, but especially rabbits, guineas, and chinchillas, and hamsters and stuff like that. So this is what it looks like. And basically what I love about Rosewood products is because it's all natural stuff, it tells you everything that is in this package right here and it's such like a very small list very small so some of the things you get are pea flakes oat flakes wheat flakes marigolds which are the little flowers um, parsley which is great they can have parsley basil cilantro um, it does have alfalfa in it do keep that in mind full-grown guineas do not need alfalfa products they need Timothy hay products 
if you guys have younger guineas, I think it's like under the age of five or so months, uh, then you will need to have them on an alfalfa diet. But because my guineas are in between on that, they are not very old, they're only a few months old, um, this is okay for them to have. And then I will have to switch them to a complete Timothy diet. But I already started them on Timothy so that they can get used to the difference of it. So it's perfectly fine. Um, let's see what else. It has nettle, red roots, dandelions, um, plantains. Uh, it has some wheat in there, puffed wheat, and leaves, flowers, corn flowers, carrots. You know, all of that great natural stuff that you would find in the earth that they would scavenge for is in this little salad right here and i think that this was only like 5.99 or 4.99 so it's a great price and you do get a lot of it so that is great and i've found that a lot of animals actually do like this so you're not going to waste your money on it like i probably did with the teeny farms product all right so the next thing that i actually got were these i think they're oxbow yes they are oxbow and they are timothy twists so basically it's all natural timothy hay twistable um chews for them it just looks like this and you can give them a whole one everything is 100% timothy even the little twist ties are made out of timothy hay so my pigs actually really like to chomp on these because it's like food for them but it's in a different form so they think that they're doing something by eating it and i'm just like yes so i actually got these and i already gave them one in their cage and they already tore it up so i really need to give them another one after i film this but this is actually one of my favorite favorite products because it's 100% hay there's no extra additives there's no extra or hidden ingredients in here and the zip ties that are holding it together are hay which I love because when you get toys like this they're like oh god like that cotton material and you kind of take them off and then it just falls apart I hate those so much they do not work and they are not worth it do not buy those um, Oh, like the, like the next item I'm going to show you. Um, but these are 100% natural, no chemicals, no wires, and no threads. They're softened by hand. They're hand woven, dried again, hand selected, and they're carefully dried. And I think that these are probably $3.99. I did get these off of Chewy because my Walmart did not have these. But Chewy is a really good place to get these. And you can also do um, Amazon if you guys have like Amazon Prime. You could probably even find them on eBay if you wanted. But I highly recommend getting these if you guys have guineas. I don't know if hamsters will like these because hamsters don't really eat hay. Even though they say that they eat hay, none of my hamsters have ever eaten hay. So this is probably more of like a guinea and a rabbit thing, but for some odd reason, hamsters are on here. It does say rats too, but then again, again, like I don't think rats eat hay. I don't know, I've never had a rat, but hamsters probably not gonna eat this. Guineas will definitely love it though. The next thing is actually another treat item. And this treat item, I actually stopped giving my pigs. It is the Living World Drops, and this is the one in carrot. So it says it's a small treat for animals. It looks just like this. I got this from an Atwood store, and honestly, my pigs don't like them. I don't like them. I wasn't looking at them. Usually I look at the back and look at the ingredients on them and decide if I wanna get them, and then I'll buy them and give them to my pigs. I didn't look and I kind of just grabbed them because I was walking out the store and they were there. So I was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna grab these and try them. These were, I think, $2.99. They just look like this. And they are little like Yogi Drops. And honestly, looking at the ingredients, the ingredients are terrible in these. There's so much crude protein in these. There's so much fat. There's so much fiber. There is so much sugar in just one of these. It is not worth giving to the pigs. So once I seen this, and I don't even know what I was thinking because it's a carrot flavored Yogi Drop. I should have just given them a carrot. <laughs> like it's healthier, it's fresher, it's cold for them during the summer. I don't know what I was thinking about getting these carrot flavored Yogi Drops when I could have just given them carrots, which is what I do anyways. I should not have purchased these. Um, so I'll probably be re-gifting these to a friend because I have a big basket full of stuff um, that I need to go through and toss out or donate to someone who's got pets. But if you guys come across these, 
even if it's not this flavor, I would not recommend buying these. And I hate to say that, but they're just not worth it. If you're gonna give them a carrot flavored treat, give them a carrot. It's healthier and it's just all around better for them. Okay, so the next thing I actually have is the Wear Pet Products. This is a Willow Branch ball. And these are the balls that I was buying them before. As you guys can see, this is this uh, size ball that I was telling you I had. And it's also got another wooden um, bit in here to help them like want to chew on it compared to this one. <laughs> so as you guys can see the size difference, they're gonna have a lot more fun with this one. Bimo might still like this one because he is the smaller pig of the three, but I know for sure he's gonna wanna play with this one with his brother Finn. But this is also from Atwoods, and I think that these ones are $3.49 a piece, and this is what the tag looks like. These are, again, 100% natural wood, and they are for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, pet rats, hamsters, mice, and gerbils. Hamsters will chew on these because hamsters do like to nibble. Hamsters need to nibble, throwing that out there. Um, so this is another great product. I actually have two of them right here. Um, I had three, but I just put another one in the pig's cage um, yesterday. So this is definitely something that I purchased and I actually purchased these on Amazon and I actually pay a little bit more on Amazon when I can't find them in my store. So I purchased these a lot. The last thing I have is the KT, and KT is a brand that I like and I don't like. KT has great products, KT has really crappy products. This one is the All Natural Timothy Blends Cubes. It's for small animals such as hamsters, gerbils, mice, rats, uh, bunnies. Hamsters probably again won't eat it because it is a hay product, but this is what it looks like right here. Basically what it is, is it's compressed Timothy hay in a hardened form and it makes them chew on it. And these are great. I actually have two bags. As you guys can see, this one's only got one cube left in it. I had to get another backup bag because I knew my pigs were gonna go crazy if they did not have their um, KT hay cubes. So that is what that looks like. And I'll actually take this last one out of the bag and show you. And then I'll just go and drop it into my pig's cage for them. But it is just a hard Timothy hay, like a little bale. And you can actually break them apart if you want to. Um, but this is what it looks like. And they actually love these things. My pigs love them anyways. All pigs are different. Your pigs may not like these. Your pigs may like them. It depends on it. But it, like I said, it, they're most likely going to eat it because it is a hay product and they love hay. Um, these are all different prices. This one is the one pound. And I actually got these at, I think it was $1.99 per bag on Amazon Prime. And so, you know, I paid like four bucks for both of them or like three bucks for both of them, something like that. And then they went up to like five or six dollars a bag for the one pound. So make sure you look around because you can get them cheap and then you will pay a little bit more for them. But even if you pay $5.99 for these, this is still a great product that they will love and it will help their teeth so, so much. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure and give it a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And if you guys have any questions about guinea pig health or hamster health, you can ask about rats. I don't know a lot about rats, but I will do the best that I can because they are kind of all in the same group. Um, but if you have specific questions for hamsters or guineas, let me know down in the comments. You can also follow me on my social media, which will be linked down below as always. And if you guys want to go and check out my gaming channel, it's X Culture Sims X. Go and check that out as well. And yeah, I hope that you guys have an amazing day and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.